The year is 2020. Persona 5 Royal has finally arrived in English on PlayStation 4. Japanese fans are enjoying Persona 5 Scramble on the Nintendo Switch. The game's developer, Atlas, are even porting Midlife Crisis Simulator Catherine Full Body to the Switch. It's possible to play as Joker in Super Smash Bros. It's possible to play Xbox-exclusive games like Cuphead on the Switch. It's even possible to play as a Sonic the Hedgehog character in Joker cosplay on the Switch. So why is it still impossible to play Persona 5 on Switch? Atlas have been cagey about the true logic behind keeping Persona 5 locked onto the PlayStation. A frequently asked questions page on Atlas's website says that there are currently no plans to bring the game to other platforms, but beyond that, there's no explanation for this decision. At a special Persona 5 The Royal event last year, Sony Interactive Entertainment director, Atsushi Morita, made remarks claiming that the Persona brand is not only important for Atlas and Sega, but is also a platform holder for Sony. As to what a platform holder might be, that's anyone's guess. It seems that Atlas and Sony have some kind of deal that keeps the original Persona 5 connected to the PlayStation, whether that be an exclusivity contract or some other deal entirely. Things are less than clear on this front. What is clear is that Atlas is not above finding a way to get Persona 5 onto the Switch on one condition. During a preview event for Persona 5 The Royal, Atlas communications manager, Ari Advincula, was asked whether the game would, or even could, ever see a release on the Switch. She responded by saying, I am a strong believer in never, ever give up on hope. Indeed, Ari went on to make it clear that if anyone's to blame for Persona 5 not being on Switch, it's fans of the game. Apparently, we're just not shouting it loud enough, said Ari. You want what you want, and if you don't let us know it, we're never going to be able to make it. It's important to always voice your opinion." Interestingly, Ari said that while she's not a decision-maker within Atlas, she is an internal champion for porting Persona 5 to Switch. It sounds as if there may be some debate within the company about whether this port would be feasible, with at least Ari firmly on the side of trying to make it happen, and wanting fan support to bolster the success of this movement within Atlas. Indeed, it does seem as if Atlas is finally considering porting some of its games to the Switch, and from the sounds of it, if they want fan feedback, they've just received more of it than they could possibly imagine. At the start of every year, Atlas releases a customer survey where they try to gauge what their audience wants in the near future. This year, the survey included a question about ports. Participants were asked which Atlas games they'd like to see ported to the Nintendo Switch. Atlas's potential list seems very comprehensive. Would players like any of the Persona series? What about some Shin Megami Tensei titles? Etrian Odyssey? Devil Summoner? What about Catherine, Full Body? Participants could express interest in a Switch port of basically every game Atlas has made in at least the past decade. The market research exercise didn't exactly go as planned. What was meant to be a small survey of hardcore Atlas fans ended up getting significantly more attention than any similar survey from previous years. Gaming news media outlets around the world reported on the survey, as hopeful Nintendo Switch owners saw this as a possible hint that Persona 5, or indeed any of the Persona games, might finally be on their way to the Switch. With more attention came a lot more people filling in the survey. Not long after the questionnaire closed on the 10th of February, Atlas's official Twitter account tweeted out a message of thanks. Apparently, the company has received a record high number of participants that far exceeded expectations. So, if anyone at Atlas were in doubt about their audience's desire for a Persona 5 Switch port, or a port of any other Atlas game, they've now been made very well aware of just how many people want to see Joker, Morgana, and the Phantom Thieves' first grand adventure on the Nintendo Switch. If you're watching this video from the far-flung future, you might already know the outcome of this, in which case, take this as a snapshot of Persona 5 Switch eagerness at the very start of the 2020s. Apparently, the moral of this story is that if you want something, you've got to keep making noise until you get it. That's actually what Atlas wants you to do.